Okay, Mr. Derry here. We're in SolidWorks. We're going to take on the body of our airplane. Uh, so first off, we're going to start a new project, um, and we want to make sure we set our units to inches. So once this launches, we're going to come down here and down in the bottom right-hand corner, and hopefully yours is set to inches. All right, I'm going to draw right on the front plane and make a sketch there. Before I get started, though, up here under the options, um, if you haven't set up your SolidWorks to do this, it's kind of a nice addition uh, under Sketch. So again, I'll do that real quick uh, under the options, the gear here. We're going to go to Sketch, and we want to enable numeric screen input on entry create dimensions only when values are put in all right so if you enable these two things it's going to make this uh, lesson go a little bit easier uh, all right i like to start on the origin and i'm drawing uh, I've, I've done all the measurements already so i'm going to click here and then go up and as i go up i'm just going to hit the enter key for or put the number of four in and then i'm going to go off to the right um, and this one is 22 and 3 quarters, which is 22.75. Enter. Can, uh, you can remember your middle mouse button allows you to scroll in and out. Um, coming down here, enter a value of 2 and hit enter. I'm going to hit escape and get out of that command for a moment. Um, I'm just going to move this up here. And then I'm going to do the lower section. So I'm going to grab my dimension tool, click on the origin again come off to the right this one is 7.75 oops let me try that again 7.75 enter I'm going to come up 2.125 enter over to the right 2.875 enter come down a half an inch 0.5 enter and I'm going to go over 8 inches up one quarter and hopefully that closes off all right something's off a little bit there so I'm going to straighten that out by getting rid of this dimension I need to get rid of the whole dimension and I'm going to click on that line and just make it horizontal. So whatever that dimension turned out to be is fine. Exit my sketch and I'm going to go to features while it's still selected and extrude it out to one and a half. Oops. 1.5. Okay, that takes care of the block, but now we want to give the shape that we're going to to uh, create for our body of our plane. So I'm going to make a new sketch right on this surface and hit normal too. And I'm going to come in here with the spline command. So I'm going to start somewhere in here, maybe on this midpoint, and come up to here, come over, and start to give a little bit of shape to my plane. I'm going to click right there. Now we can put straight lines in here as well. Oops, this guy, I need to um, bring that in so it fits oops, inside the plane. Let me undo that. Um, so actually this guy will make it a little bit easier. Pull it down in here. Bring this over more like this. Try to make this vertical. Um, play around with your shapes till you get something that you like. Right. All right, go, taking out the um, the back end of the plane here, you can simply come up with a straight line and 
come off like that. Um, might be a simple way to do it. I wouldn't go too thin here because you're going to need a little bit of material, but we can certainly take it down. Now we need to close off this shape here. And a simple way to do that is to go to Convert Entities. I'm just going to select this face, and it's going to bring all the lines over. Now, we don't need the ones out here, so we can simply trim those off. Um, and when we go to do our cut, we're just going to do... Uh, we're going to flip what we're cutting. So go to Features. Actually, we need to exit our sketch first. Exit our sketch. Click on it. Go to Features. Extruded Cut. Going to flip the side to cut. So it's on the outside. Um, select my contour first. And... Flip on the outside, through all, and see what happens here. There we go. Okay, once we get this cut out, we're going to save it. So go to File, Save. Uh, you should have a airfoil folder at this point um, with your wing in there. So we're going to call it uh, Body. Put your last name on it. Hit Save. All right, we're going to make a drawing from this now because we're going to use it as a template to cut out the shape that you've decided on. So the next step would be to go to um, Make Drawing from Part and hit OK. And we're going to make some edits to our sheet once this comes up. Uh, your sheet might look different than mine, but we're going to get rid of the sheet format anyway. So if you get this arrow here, just get rid of that. Hit Delete on the sheet hit yes so you have a plain piece of paper we're going to right click on that go to properties and i'm going to see if we can squeeze it onto a b-sized sheet whoops let me get rid of those there we go should have switched it to a b-size first now uh, over here you should have some options to pull in your plane so you're going to drag that in now that scale is not currently correct, so I'm going to click off, click on the orange lines and come down and say use custom scale and make it one to one. Now if you remember, our plane is um, 22 and this is a B-sized piece of paper which is eight and a half, excuse me, 11 by 17, so it's not entirely going to fit on here. Um, but that's okay. Hit OK here and we'll just take this section and hit OK and then we'll pull that view in again. Oops. Um, and we'll do the same thing and we'll use the other part of it. So, I'm going to custom sheet, one to one, and when we print it, we're going to print, um, we'll just put these two sections together. All right, so that's good. I'll show you how to load the printer, but once you get it loaded, uh, let's save this first. We're going to save this so we don't lose it. Um, and it's the same name, but it's a different file format. And then uh, and we're going to go to print. We're going to print these to the tech copier, which is in the library. Uh, you definitely want to go to page setup and make sure that it's set on 11 by 17 and it's landscape. Hit OK. If you hit preview first, which you should always do, um, you're going to see that we've got front section and the rear section of our plane which is good I'm gonna go ahead and hit print and then we're gonna take these sheets and use them as a template to cut out um, the body alright